What's up, Rage Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and you're watching the DC edition of the Rage Nation show. This is just a web series where we talk about all things that matter to me in the world of the DC Cinematic Universe. This is episode number 10, and what we're going to talk about in this episode is very exciting because we now have the official confirmation of who is going to be in this Suicide Squad. And this is actually very, very big news for a number of reasons. First of all, this is a super villain team. And this is a movie focused on this super villain team. Another thing that makes this really, really exciting and of course making this really big news is because this is the first movie that comes out immediately after Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. In fact, this is kind of like a follow-up. Not a direct follow-up, but at least this takes place right after the events of Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. As a matter of fact, it takes place in the same year. Or rather, it is released in the same year, in 2016. Now, the main reason why I'm really excited about the Suicide Squad and the official confirmation of who is going to be in this cast, or rather this team, is because that the Joker is going to be in the Suicide Squad. And the Joker has been cast, and this is going to be the Joker for the rest of the DC Cinematic Universe from, from uh, 2016, all, or rather, yeah, 2016 all the way to 2019, all right, for as long as, um, you know, there's going to be more appearances of the Joker. But in this universe, they have one Joker, and I'm going to tell you who that is in just a second. First of all, let's just talk about who, who are the confirmed members, okay? That would be Captain Boomerang, Enchantress, Rick Flagg, the Joker, Harlequin, and Deadshot. All right, so these are your six members. And let's just first start off with Enchantress. Enchantress is not to be confused with the uh, Enchantress of, um, in Marvel. This would be the DC Enchantress who is part of the Suicide Squad. And that would be played by Cara Delevingne. Okay, I think that's how you pronounce her name. I've never seen any of her work. So if I've never seen any of her work, the most important thing for me is... Um, is that they looked the part. And I believe she looks the part. If you're not familiar with the Enchantress, Enchantress character, she's part of the Suicide Squad and also she has magical abilities. Again, that's all I'm going to say. Next, we have Tom Hardy as Rick Flagg. Now, I'm really excited about this because Tom Hardy is one of my favorite actors. And Rick Flagg, who is actually the name of three different characters, uh, Rick Flagg, Rick Flagg Jr., Rick Flagg III. Uh, well, essentially, he is the... He, he leads the team of the Suicide Squad, okay? So he will be team leader. And Tom Hardy, I think he could pull that off. And uh, I, I, I would just love to see him again as, uh, you know, as a comic book character. So very, very exciting. I was anxious to see him uh, play another comic book character after his performance as Bane in The Dark Knight uh, Rises. All right, next we have... Harlequin, played by Margot Robbie, which I'm really, really excited about. I can't think of a better actress to play Harlequin. So that will be pretty awesome. All right. She was pretty crazy in The Wolf of Wall Street. And she can be just as crazy, if not crazier and more violent in Suicide Squad. So that's official right now. We got Tom Hardy. We got Margot Robbie. And we also got Cara Delevingne. Next, we have uh, Captain Boomerang, played by Jay, Jay Courtney. So that's pretty cool. Uh, he will be playing Jay Courtney. He has all types of boomerangs, like uh, uh, like different types that that have, do do different abilities, and his entire arsenal is boomerangs. So <laughs> that's pretty crazy. I'm gonna I'm very curious to see how this is gonna play out. Another thing is that I think that out of all the characters um, Jay Courtney has played, I mean I've seen him him in. Uh, in A Good Day to Die Hard, I've seen him in a Divergent, and we're going to see him in Terminator Genesis. I think that after playing all these badass type of characters, oh yeah, I've also seen him in Jack Reacher, and when I look back at all, like, at all these films that I've seen him in, he's, play, he's always played hard asses, you know what I'm saying? I think that this, this character, Captain Boomerang, will be um, a different type of character. He's going to be a, a badass. But he's, he, he's going to be a little bit different, okay? I think the personalities will be different from the types of characters that he's played in the past. All right, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, now, here's a controversial one. Deadshot played by Will Smith. Did anyone see that coming? I actually thought that Jay Courtney was going to play Deadshot. All right, that, that would have been, a, um, I, I, I guess, something that would have been more fitting. But now they're going to get Will Smith as Deadshot. Now, this will be the the second time 
Will Smith has played a, um, I, I wouldn't say a superhero, but at least a, a character in a comic book movie. I mean, first time he played a, a superhero was in Ken, in Hancock, and that wasn't even really based off a of comic. But now he's going to be playing a character that's based off a of comic, and that would be um, Deadshot. Wait, actually, my mistake. Uh, he was in Men in Black, but that's not necessarily a, uh, a superhero, but it is a comic book character. Anyways... Will Smith will be playing Deadshot, and he is a sniper. Very, very highly accurate, highly trained marksman. And we're going to see how that plays out. So, uh, it's very controversial because we're used to seeing Will Smith play Will Smith. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bad Boys, uh, Men in Black, uh, a, a Hitch. You know, a, a lot of these characters are very similar because he's just got that Will Smith personality. I think the only other time that I've, I thought that Will Smith was playing a, a character that's very different from himself was, uh, was uh, uh, the character of, um, I forgot the character's name, uh, but uh, the character in I Am Legend. You know, that, that was a little, something a little different. And also uh, when he played the, uh, the character, I mean, the, the, the real life character in uh, Pursuit of Happiness. Okay, so, you know... Let's see how this plays out. A lot of people are thinking that the most WTF casting is Will Smith as Deadshot. Now, I, I kind of feel the same way. I like Will Smith. I'm a huge Will Smith fan. I love a lot of the movies that he's, that he's in. But Will Smith as Deadshot just seems a little bit off to me. Uh, uh, mainly because I just feel like, okay, you're, they're putting a, like, a, like a big actor like Will Smith into... The DC Cinematic Universe. Now he's going to be playing Deadshot, uh, you know, for as long as there the DC Cinematic Universe exists, and uh, and it, as long as there's more movies with with Dead the character of Deadshot. So we're going to see him, you know, uh, uh, playing Deadshot in the DC Cinematic Universe, unless he's killed in in the Suicide Squad. Okay, so uh, that is going to be really crazy. I'm 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 on the fence about that. I'm not really. Um, exactly sure how I feel but I, 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 I won't say that it's like a, a casting choice that I'm particularly like 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 thinking that it's a perfect choice you know what I'm saying I think everybody else is perfect so far but but Will Smith as Deadshot is the one that has me feeling a bit weird okay now finally who's gonna be the Joker now this is the most exciting and most important casting choice of all uh, because we're talking about the J the Joker, a very iconic villain in in the DC Cinematic Universe and also the Batman Universe. I mean, we've seen uh, uh, Jack Nicholson play the Joker, which was awesome. We've seen Heath Ledger play the Joker, which was just as awesome as well. I mean, before that, there was the uh, the Joker uh, from the Batman TV series, and now we have. Jared Leto playing the Joker. I was totally rooting for him. And for some reason, um, after hearing so many different interviews and, and his comments in those interviews about, um, about uh, uh, playing or not playing the Joker, he was very ambiguous about it. Uh, after hearing all those comments and his response in the interviews, I had a feeling he was going to play the Joker. When an actor is being asked... Uh, are you planning? Are you going to be playing this character? And they don't tell you directly yes or no. That's usually a hint uh, that they are going to be playing it. Just because they're not allowed to reveal it, the studios uh, put them under a contract that they can't reveal it until the studios reveal it first. So now here's the official confirmation, and now we know that Jared Leto is going to be playing the Joker, which I think is an excellent choice. For the Joker. So here's your Suicide Squad. Once again, Jay Courtney as Captain Boomerang, Cara Delevingne as en the Enchantress, Tom Hardy as Rick Flagg, Jared Leto as the Joker, Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn, and Will Smith as Deadshot. And Will Smith as Deadshot is the is the choice, the casting choice that I find the most um odd. Okay. How do you guys feel about that? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, it's not all done yet. I mean, even though the main team casting is done, uh Lex Luthor, played by Jesse Eisenberg, is still um, in negotiations to to you know play the Lex Luthor character. Um, he will be Lex Luthor in Batman vs Superman: Dawn of Justice, but it's possible that if the deals um, go through, then um, he will be playing Lex Luthor once again in uh, in um, Suicide Squad. Now, if the deal doesn't go through, then he's not going to be in it at all. You can't have another character, or rather, you can't have another actor play Lex Luthor after Jesse Eisenberg has played Lex Luthor in Dawn of Justice, all right? So, that is something that um, is still up in the air. But here's another thing that's up in the air, okay? 
And that is the character of Amanda Waller. If you don't know who Amanda Waller is, she is the character in the Suicide Squad. I mean, she's not particularly a part of the Suicide Squad, but she's the character who is the... Um, how can I say? She's not the leader, but she's the one that assigns the mission. She's the one that puts together the team, the task force. So she's that character. And right now, there are a couple of candidates. And I'm going to tell you who the candidates are. Now here, this list is particularly interesting. Because this list consists of some pretty high-profile actors. I'm talking about Oscar nominees, okay? So we have Viola Davis, Oscar nominee. Right. We also have Oscar winning winner Octavia Spencer, and then we also have Oprah Winf Winfrey. All right. So you know what? They're leaning towards Oprah Winfrey, and by they, I'm referring to the studios. They're, the studios are leaning towards Oprah Winfrey, and after reading what the fans have been uh, uh, have been re res uh, responding towards this. Uh, this, these casting choices and leaning towards Oprah Winfrey, they are, they're freaking out. They're freaking out just like they're freaking out about uh, Will Smith. And I'm just thinking that, okay, Will Smith was a bit of a WTF uh, casting choice. But Oprah Winfrey as Amanda Waller? I mean, I don't think that the fans should freak out. The reason why is because Oprah Winfrey can play... Uh, 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 really, you know, take charge type of female character. She can do that. I've seen her do that. I forget what movie I've seen her in, but she was she did a pretty good job in her role. Okay. Another thing is that there's no need to freak out because you're not watching a movie about Oprah Winfrey. You're watching The Suicide Squad. She has a very well. I wouldn't say it's a major role, but it is a major role, but it's a minor role. It's a supporting role, and she's a character that's not going to be in it a whole lot. You're going to be seeing the the tasks performed by the Suicide Squad, all right? So Oprah Winfrey as Amanda Walter, I'm down with that. I am down with that mainly because I personally believe that she can pull it off. And we're, when we see her on screen, we're not going to see her as Oprah Winfrey. We're going to see her as Amanda Waller, okay? So I'm totally down with that, but I know some of you guys might might just think, oh my God, when I see Oprah Winfrey on screen, I'm going to be seeing Oprah Winfrey, okay? <laughs> But anyways, that is the big news. I'm really, really excited about this. This is this is huge. I mean, this is going to follow in the same year after Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. All right, so that's all I got to talk about with regards to Suicide Squad. The other thing that I got to talk about is just a little bit of small news tidbits about the DC Cinematic Universe. And that is they now, I mean, for the last two weeks, uh, I'm sure you guys already know, but they have a director for... Uh, for Wonder Woman, uh, the studios wanted a female director, and uh, two weeks ago they actually found their director, and that would be Michelle McLaren. Now, if you don't know who that is, if you watch TV, then you should know because she has directed uh, several episodes for some, uh, or rather, a number of episodes for a bunch of really popular TV series, and that is Game of Thrones, Breaking Bad, and also The Walking Dead. All right, so. You know, when I think of female uh, directors, I first name comes up is Catherine Bigelow. But I, I don't see Catherine Bigelow directing a Wonder Woman film, mainly because, she, you know, she wants to make another Oscar hit, okay? And Wonder Woman, you know, superhero movies don't make Oscars, all right? So, well, at least not big, Best Picture, Best Director. But anyways, so they got Michelle McLaren, and they want a female director just because they really want uh, the, the, the Wonder Woman story to be told through the perspective of, like, the female... Uh, you know, from the female um, uh, perspective in every way, all right? Not uh, not just through the character, but the vision of, of a strong female lead, you know what I'm saying? So that would be a female director. We got Michelle McLaren. And this is, you know, this is a pretty big deal uh, because not only is Michelle McLaren, who is a great director, uh, directing Wonder Woman, but they also have Zack Snyder producing. So originally, Christopher Nolan was uh, overseeing um, Man of Steel, the production of Man of Steel. He set the tone for Man of Steel, but then he took off, all right? Uh, so now Zack Snyder is in charge of that, mainly because uh, Zack Snyder, um, he's responsible for a pretty big uh, a deal for the cinematic universe. Not only is he directing Man of... St not only did he direct Man of Steel, but he's also directing uh, Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice and also uh, Justice League Part 1 and 2, and he's also going to be producing Wonder Woman. 
So that's a pretty huge deal, mainly because now we have one Vision who is overseeing a huge part of the DC Cinematic Universe. So that is actually pretty awesome to know that there, you know, there's going to be a bit of consistency for these films. All right. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is who the villain is going to be for Batman vs. Superman, uh, Dawn of Justice. Now, there's, there's a number of uh, suggestions out there. Obviously, uh, you know, Lex Luthor, which is confirmed to be a villain in uh, Dawn of Justice. And then there's the suggestion of Darkseid, all right, uh, you know, which was uh, something that was unconfirmed. But we now have a... A confirmation that Doomsday will make an appearance in Batman vs Superman: Dawn of Justice. Now I don't know if he's the main villain, but if he's in Batman vs Superman: Dawn of Justice as a villain, he might as well be the main villain. All right. Now if Doomsday is going to be in in uh, um, Batman vs Superman: Dawn of Justice, he most likely is going to survive because there has to be a Man of Steel two movie. All right. So he doesn't necessarily kill Superman in this movie so uh but at least we know that he's gonna be in it okay so that's all very exciting anyways that's all i gotta talk about in this video i want to ask you guys how do you feel about the cast of suicide squad and which of the suicide squad characters from the comics would you have wanted to see if they didn't uh, you know because you know if they if the ones that you wanted to see didn't appear you know what i'm saying so let me know in the comment section below and how do you feel about will smith and who would you have play amanda waller all right, uh, we can all um, talk about that in the comment section below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Raging Nation. Also, follow me on Twitter, at Raging Nation. My name is Alex Yu. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. He goes floating. That's pretty cool. Takes him back into time. You got the globe. Comes out naked.